Good morning, guys. We survived. <laughs> no bear. I cut my finger before bed. So um, the whole time I panicked about freaking bears because our host told us a scary story before bed. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. So today is kind of an explore day. We ain't got nothing planned. Nothing rented. So I think we're going to get up and enjoy the sunrise and cook some breakfast. Get some coffee. Get her some coffee and then uh, I think we're going to show you around the campsite and uh, figure out what we're going to do today. Yeah, and then we'll let you know if uh, anything happened with the whole bear situation. So Yeah, they're supposed to come up and give us an update. Yeah. So. If everybody was good... We should be able to stick it stick it out a while, but if people down by the river and whatnot screwed up again, <laughs> screwed up, left their grills and coolers out, and they get caught, we're all done. Yep. So, but anywho, we're gonna get out and enjoy the sunrise. So we'll check in with in a little bit. Coffee. Want to see a sad panda? <laughs> I left my coffee maker at home, so I'm dealing with cold brew that I just warmed up on my stove, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But you know how upsetting it is to open your pack that you forgot on this the most important thing ever. Beautiful coffee. morning. How could I forget coffee? Yeah. Oh my gosh. And I forgot the eggs. <laughs> so now all we got is bacon. So we're evidently doing keto this morning. <laughs> Bacon. But, but no, and um, well, I, we're, we're kind of reevaluating our situation in general. Um, we may actually end up just bagging cooking just because the bear situation. Um, that we're just, cooking on gas. Gas. We, we had hopes to actually do the campfire and do the original camping. And now that things are changing so much, um, I really don't want to attract any bears to the area and end up having them get killed because of us. So... We may end up just splurging and doing in-town food this yeah. week, unfortunately. Um, our, <laughs> Review every restaurant in town. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, things are changing every day. Uh, it's not what we expected, but here's rolling with the punches and yeah. <laughs> At least we got three rolls of paper towels. Y yes, I threw those in. Yes, because <laughs> we needed paper towels. That wasn't a jab. <laughs> you can You can tell true love, though. We're still married, and she ain't got coffee. <laughs> so. All right, we're going to get back to burning breakfast. <laughs> and drinking whatever the slug is here. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But. All right, let's get back to it. <laughs> this is <just> comical. <laughs> Yeah, last night we uh, we had a scare. Thought we locked the key in the car. The only damn key we have with us right now. The other one, like 330 miles that way. So here we are in the dark with our headlamps on, running around, probably waking up the entire neighborhood, yelling at each other. What is it over here? Is it over there? Is it right here? I don't know. It's, oh, babe, I found it. Uh, it's 2020. I'm done with this year. Yeah, for sure. And if you can't tell, I just broke my fork. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I hate that thing. Anybody want to buy it? <laughs> Trivia question. A. Jim pawned this off. B. Jim gave that to the park ranger. <laughs> C. Jim realized it cost too much money and dragged that son of a bitch back home. <laughs> D. 
<laughs> I threw it in the garbage. <laughs> Comment below. That's a joke. So again, we talked about doing a uh, little tour of our campsite. So how we're really roughing it out here. So anyway, this is site number seven at Elephant Rock. Um, it's between Red River and Cuesta. It's basically kind of in the dead point between middle between the two towns. Uh, we really like this place. This is our second year coming here. Um, this campsite here in particular is probably the most isolated from all the other campsites. You truly are by yourself because when you get up here, it's just straight up back mountain and there's no one really around. Further down, there's some campsites and further down that way, but you're kind of on your own private little section here, which is really awesome for us. We really don't like people, <laughs> especially when we're camping. So the privacy is really a big deal to us. So anyway, let me show you up this way. Um, again, number seven. And this year the chipmunks are galore. I feel like Snow White almost when they're here because they just keep flocking to you. So. Normally, this is where we would be <laughs> for dinners and everything. Jim usually does a great camp cooking, um, but this year is really weird with all the bear situations. So we're not utilizing this. And plus on top of that, not only the bears, but there's a fire ban going on, major fire ban. It's really dry up here this year. Um, we've noticed a lot more bugs this year than last year too. So not sure if that has to do with the dry weather, time of year, not sure. Um, some of the other things too, um, it's a really great setup. The views are awesome from here too. Um, so you can actually see out quite a bit from the picnic area itself. One of the other things we've done here this year is we've hung up a clothesline over here. Um, so whenever we do showers, towels, whatever that gets wet or, you know, we leave our stuff out and needs to be dried in the rain, <laughs> that's where it's going to go over there. So anyway, let's go ahead and keep on going up. I might get a little winded. Bear with me. <laughs> favorite features as well. Um, we hung it up a little higher this year. Um, we actually had it where the clothesline was last year, but going through the ravine was kind of a pain in the rear. So um, nice to sit up here and relax. And again, the view from here is amazing. And it's, it's only a few feet from where the picnic table was. So it makes a big difference to sit up here and relax, read a book, perfect spot. And as you pan up further, you can keep going up and everything. Of course, you're gonna get winded. You can hear me getting winded right now. <laughs> So, um, but it's actually, the, again, this is the whole privacy issue I was talking about. It's fantastic here because it's just us, which is awesome. All right, well, let's turn back around and show you the tent area. Much easier going downhill. Here's our tent. This is our downgrade from windy <laughs> this is actually what the main reason what got us started us even camping last year we purchased this guy um, it is an rei tent um, it's a little bit bigger than my other backpacking tent so it's actually been really nice to get the extra space to kind of move around and stuff versus a lightweight backpacking tent so um, the other upgrade <laughs> that i made this year that we haven't used yet we plan to use it maybe later today or tomorrow is over here in the background So last year we learned that there wasn't any shower facilities in the area. You can't even pay to get a shower. So after a few days of camping, you kind of stink a little. So anyway, we've upgraded. We actually made a purchase this year. Um, one of the other features I purchased this year, and we'll go in a lot more detail later on, but I have a water heater inside here. So cold water showers aren't going to be an issue because we have a water heater because I'm really roughing it out here this year. <laughs> so anyway, a um, little bit of privacy screen just in case. We've got a nice little solar sunroof. So we'll see how that works in a day or so. So, or maybe later today. Depends on how hot it gets today. So, one of the things we are going to be cautious about also is the soaps we're using. All definitely biodegradable. There is a lavender scent which I'm a little cautious about with the bears because bears are a little bit attracted to any scents. So I'm a little cautious about that. So we'll probably do it during midday or early in the morning. So you get more of a human scent by the time you go to bed. So I'm still not sure on that. So we'll play that one by ear, but 
But anyway, that's pretty much it for the campsite here. Um, the bathroom's facilities is literally just down, down there. You can't really see it from here, but they're clean. <laughs> they are very clean. They very rarely stink. The only time that I've ever got any kind of smell from them is in the morning when everybody's using it in the morning. But literally in an hour from now, you, it smells clean and fresh and there's never been an issue. So, but other than that. Yeah. Our lovely hosts, Kara and Alan, uh, Alan from Texas, they do a great job out here. Yeah. And they're very friendly and <laughs> they're a lot of fun actually to hang out with. So. Yeah. I, I really had a good time with them this year, so yeah. All right. All right, well, other than that, I think today we're gonna try to head over to Capresto Lake. I think yeah. that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. I could be wrong if I'm wrong. Tell me how to pronounce it in the, in the comments because I may have slaughtered that. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, so that's the hope for today. We'll see how things pan out. And then as far as dinner and food tonight, it's to be determined. Who knows at this point? Yeah. So, all right, well with that, I will see you guys later. I'll probably on a hike. Hey guys, we're at a what lake is this? Cabresto Lake. Cabresta, I believe. Cabresto, Cabresto, Cabresto. I'm not sure. The Sea Lake. <laughs> so it is beautiful up here. The roads up here are not recommended for passenger cars. Um, that means, yeah. We probably shouldn't have done it on our main vehicle. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't too bad. I've been on worse roads in Oklahoma. <laughs> so, but yeah, we're gonna trek down and possibly see about jumping in this water. I'm sure it's gonna be freezing cold and probably not very entertaining to record, so, cause I'll be screaming probably like a little nah, bit. I'm gonna record it if we, <laughs> if we do it. So, so yeah. that maybe fly the drone, I don't know. We'll see when we get down there. Yeah. All right, All right. see you here in a little bit.
see over there I see the that's where our car is so it's not too bad though I mean it's like 82 degrees out here it, it feels great so yeah we're gonna hike back and uh, maybe go for a dip if we can find a place to jump into this thing we uh, we didn't bring the map along with us we thought it was self-explanatory we figured you just walk around the damn lake and we got up here and we found out we ran into a stream and we're probably 60 feet up and there was no way we we're crossing it so we're turning around and going back Hey guys, uh, well we started the video off in the tent, so I guess we'll finish it in the tent. <laughs> <laughs> Meant to finish it at the end of the hike, but uh, we forgot. It was raining yeah, again today. It, it was so. raining and I had to make us some sandwiches to eat and then everybody was piling in there, so I wanted to get the vehicle out before somebody tried to block us in. Yeah, there was actually ended up being quite a few people that showed up out there later on in the afternoon, but it was still worth it. It was oh, definitely yeah. an awesome hike. Oh yeah, I think we're gonna probably go back up there Wednesday if we have time. We're, we're gonna have the razor for what eight hours? I think it's eight hours. Yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna try to do so. Goose Lake, and if we have time, we might run back up there yeah. this time. Maybe take swim trunks. <laughs> it, the water was cold, but it was but, nice. Yeah. And it was it was hot today again today so yeah. um i think overall it, it last time we were here it was in august and it was definitely cooler um but no complaints it's still cool at night so i don't know we liked it better in august yeah so, <laughs> but all right yeah so thanks for watching if you guys liked it hit that thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please do so any we're gonna comments have yeah. yeah also leave below yeah. and let us know anything that you liked or if we did something stupid today we didn't know we did. oh yeah <laughs> i did earlier in the video i'm sure i'll include it in the video about my grill mishap a b c or d hit it up in the comments <laughs> let, us, let us know what you think i did with that grill 
So uh, <laughs> we are right. serious about that. <laughs> all right, guys. Till next time. See ya.